Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling Godsmith, and you guys are watching on wrestling. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is actually to kind of place my thoughts about what I thought about Money in the Bank, and because I did my full review, I love it. I still love the, I still love the idea. I hope they do this next year. I really do. Um, here's the thing. Um, there's a lot of things I'm thinking about, especially with the storylines now with Oscar and Otis. Um. And I'm thinking maybe this is kind of Oscar's like kind of redemption thing. I think it's gonna be a redemption story for Oscar being the woman champion again, because I feel like here's my thing. I don't hate Becky Lynch. I don't because I love her as a champion. It probably would have made a lot of an impact if Shayna won, but I already kind of feel that Vince has got some thing going where he's kind of got this thing with uh, he's got this oscar thing and he's got becky and he's got shana to deal with and i feel like they're gonna put them in a match together probably tonight on raw uh probably also dealing with some uh with backlash because i feel like backlash is gonna be the focal point going into SummerSlam, which is about two months away and i think also i think the, the money the corporate ladder thing the corporate thing should have worked at the crowd I think it would have been a, a really a, a really great, a better, an amazing match if the crowd was around. Because I like the fact that it wasn't just a typical money in the bank. And that's why I think they kind of thought outside the box with this. Because after seeing Alistair and Ray get thrown off the building, because I know they're fine. They're, they're, they're not dead. But, you know, just the, just the kind of the surprise, you know, the surprise factor of Otis falling off. Like, Otis actually winning the money in the bank, which... You know, I'm kind of, su I'm not really surprised because they've been, WWE's kind of been pushing them. And that's my thing. Because that's my thing, guys. I think there's a lot of there's so much storyline, there's so much storyline opportunity, and I feel like I also feel like WWE's not gonna do something with Shayna because I, I think she's gonna end up going back to NXT because that's what Finn end up end up doing. That's what EO's probably gonna end up doing. She probably will get called up to the main roster, and there's gonna be a big thing because they really want. Oscar and Kyrie saying and EO in the mix because I, I just feel like there's a there's a push somewhere. I feel like there's a storyline they're trying to build for Asuka once she gets the belt off of Becky if she decides to cash it in tonight. She could do it tonight. She could do it the next pay-per-view, which I would have waited. But this is the thing. I didn't mind Baron Corbin getting hit by Elias and the guitar. I didn't mind it. But my mindset was going into Money in the Bank because I wasn't really interested because I've seen Money in the Bank a thousand times and... Either of the cash-ins happen on the same night. And I feel that there's an Otis thing where I'm thinking if he does cash in for the tag titles, that would make a little bit of difference. A tag team has never been cashed in in, in many of the big history. And I just feel like, you know what, what, what do we do? Because Otis is never going to go for a main title. He's not built for it. And I'm not saying, I'm not diminishing his ability, his wrestling ability. He's a great guy. But I feel like there's gonna they're gonna play something into the factor of Otis. Between Otis and, and Mandy, which which I which I be, which I believe which I believe is gonna happen, but I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what the storyline is going to be till tonight. Maybe when it's, I might watch Magdown just to see what they're going to do. Because, like I said, guys, there's, there's so many there's so many different opportunities in my mind that Oscar's going to take. Or she just might do a complete heel turn to, to Kyrie. Because I just feel like Kyrie's not going to stop. Because the thing is, they, they, they lost the belts. So... Pretty much, I think Oscar going on the singles run and Kyrie kind of being the focal point because that's what that, that's what I feel like is going to end up happening because she's not going to cash it on Bailey because Bailey's not even worth the time to do it even with Sasha it's just like 
even with even with the you know what even with that that match with her and, and, and her and Tamina, I'm just like Tamina. There's nothing for her to do. There really is nothing for her to do, and I think she just keeps getting in the back of the line. I really do. I just feel like there's nothing for her to become. She can't become a women's champion because she's never been women's champion, and that's the problem. She's a great wrestler, but I feel like with her, there's no storyline for her. There's no storyline. It's always been Becky, Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte. And that's what it's been. And when Rhea comes in, that's the thing. If, if I would have liked it even more if... Here's my thing, guys. I would have liked it even more if they did Rhea. And Rhea would have... I think Rhea would have been a perfect spot. I think it would have been a, 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 an all-out brawl. Because the thing is to do it in Titans House, like the great, that was like the greatest thing to do. And I feel like at this point, what do we do with the money in the bank? Like, what do we do with the title team? Because the New Day are going to keep winning. They're going to be the long term tag team titles, tag team champions in the world. It's just that I'm tired. And not saying that WWE's not pulling the trigger on certain people. But ever since you brought Shane into the main roster, you haven't pulled the trigger with her. She might get it at Backlash. She might get it at SummerSlam. Maybe to kind of get the to get the grand schemes going. Cause, cause the thing is, here's my thing. Let's just say Asuka would have won one. Would have won the Elimination Chamber and won the match to face Becky. Like I said, I'm not hating the idea of. I'm not hating the idea of Oscar winning this thing. Oscar could have been fine. She should have won. And I think that if Oscar wasn't in the money in the bank proper, if she would have won the title, let's just say she would have won it at WrestleMania. She would have won it. Then it would have gave Shayna should have gave it would have gave Shayna an incentive to go win money in the bank. But since Shayna didn't win. That's my problem. I think there's so much going on right now. To kind of to kind of stretch a point, I think there's so much going on. There's so much going on. And here's my also thing. This is just my thoughts, guys. Like I said, same thing with Seth Rollins and, and Drew. I think that, that rivalry is not done. Because Seth, I, I'm trying to understand the mindset with him being a heel. I just, I don't get it. I, I don't get it because my mindset is like, yo, my mindset was fine. I just, here's the thing with Drew, Drew, and, and, Drew and, 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 and Seth, because the thing is Drew, I love the fact that he is champion because this, this, this is what kind of hits me in the face a little bit because it's like, well, what are we doing? And this is the thing too. I love the fact that WWE tries to do crazy storylines that fit their criteria with Bray. Same thing with Bray and Braun. And even with the Bray and Braun match, that didn't really kind of get my thoughts to because it's like, yo, you have a guy. And Bray, this is the thing. I want Firehouse Funhouse Bray rather than Fiend Bray. Because Fiend Bray is kind of nuts. It's okay, but he doesn't really do anything. It wouldn't have made sense because Braun would have figured out how to beat him. Braun would have figured it out. And that's the problem. And then we get, guys, you know, we get Braun, you know, Firehouse Funhouse Braun. Firefly Funhouse is like, he's literally like, uh, he's like the psych, he's like the normal sane version of Bray, but on a really psychotic level. And this is the thing. Nobody thought that Otis was going to win. And I had a gut feeling he was going to win because they... Because when you push a guy, this is the thing with better being an F1 this with next team in AEW. When you got a guy who you want to win, or you push him so much that there's no way that the odds are stacked against him, it was this. It's the same thing. It was the same thing with Steve Austin with the attitude error because like they wanted to make him a top champion, and the thing was Vince wouldn't let him be pushed. But when he got pushed enough, he actually won and he kept the belts because he had a really good title ring the attitude error because he kept he kept winning even when he turned heel. And did in working with Vince and actually was doing the whole team, the team Vince thing and the alliance and all this craziness. That's what happens. Because when you, 
it's the same thing with Drew. They're going to put Drew and Seth as much as they can push him because Seth is the only one that's probably going to give Drew a challenge next to Brock Lesnar. Because even with the match, it, it was so close because Seth, I'm, I'm so used to Seth being the, the, the Beast Slayer Seth. And then it's now, we've got, we had Shield Seth, Authority Seth, and then we have Beast Slayer, and now we've got Messiah. And I'm just like, you know what? I see the idea. I see what they're trying to do with stuff. I see what they're trying to play the heel game with him. And I just don't get the point of doing that to a certain point to kind of illustrate the point of being, like, you know, to kind of illustrate it. And like I said, guys, and I apologize if this is a long video, but I'm just saying, like, you know what? I'm not mad that AD didn't win or, or Baron or anybody who won because this is the thing. Baron could have been pushed to get the title a long time ago, and maybe Baron Baron Corbin isn't the guy to get because he's like he's the one dude in the company that probably has never won a title, and that's kind of sad. Because the thing is, like, yo, we don't really see him do a lot, and his King King Corbin thing is fine, but I just I'm used to seeing him. I'm used to seeing him do fantasy and just trying to be dominant. And trying to win belts, and he just never did it. And I think he could have. I think he could have won the title at whatever the the pay per view would. Be. Like I said, it's, I don't know. And there's so many people I'm thinking about right now. That I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> That's what I believe. I already know about Jinder Mahal. And this is the thing. Even with him coming back. And this is the thing, too. I think they don't want to get rid of Jinder because he's actually making the money. I felt like they just kept AJ. Because AJ, even the PTSD moments with the Undertaker, that was fine. I'm cool with that because I feel like Undertaker's not done. I feel like that rivalry's not going to be done until, like, the next WrestleMania of some sort. Because it's like he only challenged the Undertaker, I think, in my own thoughts that like I said I I don't know I I don't I won't know until tonight so I think I might just do my uh Like I said, I, I here's my prediction. I think tonight, because everybody's going to be banged up for Money in the Bank, I think there's going to be a cash in at some point. And my first prediction, I think Becky's going to make a promo because she's going to say, I've defeated everybody, so I guess, and she'll say that whoever won the money will come out, and it's, she's going to say, Oscar wants a rematch, yada, 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 but I'll give it to her at my time. So, some, something, something like, something fake, like she's going to say something like that. And I'm just like, you know what? I've, I've seen her do a lot of things. And I'm just like, yo, I'm tired. I love Becky Lynch being the two, you know, two belts and everything. And she and she rocked it. But I'm like, at this point, what do you do with Becky Lynch? And my second prediction is, I think there's going to be... Because for the men, there's Otis, but he's not doing nothing yet. So I think there's going to be a, a, a big blow-off match between between AJ I think
like I said, I think there might be a blow off match for um for AJ and Alistair tonight. I think they're gonna have a match. I think, uh, maybe. Like I said, uh, maybe there is going to be a match between Asuka and maybe Naya. I mean, not, uh, not, not Asuka and Naya. Um, Naya and Shayna. I think there's going to be a fight between them. I think there's going to be a fight uh, for Friday night for Carmella and Lacey Evans. Like I said, there's a couple of things I'm thinking about for this. And I'm trying to think of my fourth prediction. And I think there's going to be... Oh, God, I got to think. Because there might be a thing for Bobby and Truth. I think there might be a match for them. There might be a promo thing with Seth and Drew. That's my kind of my sixth prediction for that. Because I think Drew's going to make a promo or... Seth is gonna do. He's gonna have to deal with. Seth, he's gonna have to deal with Seth, Buddy, maybe AOP, because he's gonna have to deal with them tonight on Raw. Because I think that I think the rivalry's gonna start from, like literally start from tonight, from yesterday, which is Money in the Bank, to Raw. Like that's my thought to it. Um, like I said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.